What's up, Slam Dancers? Today on Slam Dance with Christine 16, we are hanging out with The Anchor in a rainstorm, which is pretty metal. Uh, can I have you guys introduce yourself? Say what you guys do in the band real quick. Yeah, I'm Lindsay. I'm the vocalist. My name's Keenan. and I'm the bassist. So how is the Anchor Tour going for you guys right now? It's awesome. Um, we've definitely had some downtime where we could do a lot of touristy stuff. So we went to like Niagara Falls, we went to um, Times Square. Uh, we ran by the White House because yeah, Keenan's really. a rebel. Uh, we didn't actually like go and like see the White House. We just like hopped out of the car, ran, took a picture, and then left. Uh, but it's, so far, like the show's been great, um, and we, this is our first time on the East Coast, so it's been awesome. Yeah, hey, that's getting to see a lot of new cities that we've never seen before. A lot of new faces, we a lot of new people. It's fantastic. So, who are you guys currently on tour with right now? This is a band called Varsity. Um, they're based out of New York, um, and they're kind of like an R&B metal mashup situation. Um, but they've been a lot of fun. And, um, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's been great. They've been awesome for a bit. Hey, that's awesome to hear. Uh, so where are you, where's the anchor located from? We're from Denver, um, so metro area, and we've been together for about what, like four, four, four years. Four years. Yeah, somewhere around there. Colorado. That's a very beautiful state. I just visited that recently. It was awesome. Have uh, you ever been to uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater? Oh, of course. Beautiful venue, four and you can find old. a vlog below of Slam Dance checking out the Red Rocks Amphitheater below in the description. But, uh, so let's talk about the Anchor. What is the band's current release right now? So right now we just came out with our EP Make It Last um, back in February. And that was kind of our take on pop punk meets metalcore. And we tried to do something just a little bit different to try to challenge ourselves in some positions and just kind of expand our horizons a little bit. So, is there anything you want to add to that? No, not really. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, we, we wanted to challenge ourselves, yeah. basically, and force ourselves to write something that we weren't necessarily comfortable with or familiar with. Um, and so we really want, just wanted to evolve as musicians and, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an entity, really, to see where we can put our musicianship, not only just performance, but also our songwriting, and uh, just you know, our music, our musical nature. Awesome. Now, um, is there, what is the first recommended track you guys would recommend off the release that people who haven't heard it about? Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll, well, say okay. I'll say something <laughs> There's different. two answers. So, our favorite track is Amel, um, and the reason for that is just because like there's this nasty breakdown at the end, and like, every time we play it, we're just like, oh, yeah. yeah. But as far as like our most popular track, it's been Nola, um, and I think the reason for that is just because there's a really good balance between like screaming and singing, and it's, I would say, the most pop punk radio friendly, I would say. Um, it's, an, it's, a, it's an easy song to sing along to, yeah. and it's catchy, so. Yeah. Oh, right on. Now, for people who haven't heard of The Anchor, what are three for fans of bands you guys could recommend you guys kind of sound like? Mm, a Day to Remember. Yep. August Burns Red. And... Ooh, last one. Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah, we don't usually get to three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're usually just like Day to Remember or August Burns Red. Um, <laughs> maybe like Haste the Day? Yeah. Our yeah, breakdowns yeah. are kind of old school, so... We've been told we sound yeah, like Alice Sana. Yeah, me and my brother were listening to it earlier. He's like, dude, this kind of sounds like Alice Sana. Like, hey, I'll take that. <laughs> I accept that. <laughs> right on. Now, you guys have been playing instruments for a little while. Do you guys remember when you guys first started doing what you're doing? Your three top musical influences that inspired you to do what you do? Mm. Joan Jett. Um, my dad bought me a Joan Jett CD when I was like 10 years old, and I fell in love with her. Um, and then Seosin and the Cherry. So, kind of all over the place. Hell yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Mine's uh, Brian Martini and Mudvayne. Victor Wooten, obviously, because I'm a bassist. The last one's my pops, because he's a phenomenal guitarist. Oh, so. that's so sweet. I was kind of born. Into, <laughs> I was born into like a musical aptitude of, of, of a family. So, so what was your guys' favorite albums jamming in high school? You guys named three. Oh, three top. cheers for sweet revenge. Duh. Um, the top three. Maybe Seos and self-titled and. Uh, the fiance, I'm sure. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I was a, I was a huge punk kid in high school, so mine were cheap sex, leftover crack, and toxic holocaust. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's how we get down, though. <laughs> right on. Well, we'll finish this interview off with one last question for you guys. Metallica or Slipknot? Mm, I would say Slipknot. Yeah, I'm going to go Slipknot. Just because yeah. they're heavier. Metallica's got a dad metal nowadays. Yeah. So. I feel you guys. I no, I'm not slamming the Metallica. Oh, no. yeah, they, they were good for their time, but like, <laughs> I definitely like connect more with Slipknot. Yeah. Especially, I mean, Metallica doesn't have breakdowns, and a whole album doesn't even have bass on it, so that kind of hurts me mm -hmm. as a bassist. So. I feel personally attacked. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I feel that, man. Well, is there anything else you guys like to promote to the viewers? 
Um, make sure to check us out on social media and we're going back on tour in July so be sure to be on the lookout for those dates and we love you guys and thank you so much for all of your support because without you we would be nothing and thank you. Awesome.